and uh, she said all all of the lines of the painting have to go in the in the same direction. <laughs> but I do remember thinking that was oh that's how you made a good picture, and so I do remember that as a very specific moment of like. That's really interesting. That's how you paint a live bird. But you were a bit rubbish at art at school, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must say, I wasn't very good at it in year 12, and I did get an E, and I think it was the only time I ever got an E in, in my life. But the teacher was really right to art. And, uh, I think I was really naughty. So this is uh, about the, the winch I used to lift motors on and off the bench. Uh, I'm getting a bit old now to, to lift some of these motors, especially this one. This is a GT550. Uh, I, you can see I've removed the, the barrels already and some of the components just to lighten it a bit, but it's still extremely heavy. The, the engine I took off was an NSR 250 engine and I could probably could just about do that, but to be honest, I really don't want to hurt myself. So, a little bit about this. So, what's it made up of? Okay, so we've got this vertical pole. This is a lightweight, just a lightweight uh, bit of pipe. Uh, it's connected to the workbench uh, at the bottom down here with a couple of uh, slightly larger pipes uh, to act as bushings and, uh, and at the foot there's, there's a small welded on piece so that the pipe can rotate along. Okay, So the, the entire bench, right, all this bench here, uh, is uh, I fabricated uh, and it got fabricated from a, an eight, a, a set of A-frames used for overhaul of a... Lotus Alan. So once that Alan was gone, I cut the A-frames up and I fabricated these benches and some other pieces as well. Uh, so so we've got we've got the vertical pi vertical pipe here. We've got a, a cross member here, which is a bit of C channel line, uh, and that's connected to the vertical pipe uh, using a couple of uh, pieces of angle line. So the one at the front here is uh, shorter than the one at the back. Uh, and the reason for that is just about uh, a low transference, it's a more, more efficient uh, uh, arrangement. And on the back, which I'm not sure how well you can see it, right, on the back of it is welded a 25mm by 3mm, something like that, stitch welded rib that goes all the way down uh, to the lower bushing. reason for that is to increase uh, st stiffness, because if you don't do that, what will happen is that at the top of the bushing, the upper bushing, which is around about here, right, uh, you'll get very, very high bend and stresses, and, and the probability of it is, is that it will buckle at that point, uh, even at relatively low load. So, so putting on what is a relatively easy uh, uh, webbing strip at the back substantially increases the load carrying capability to the point that despite this being really thin wall uh, pipe, I can swing off this, uh, no problem. So at the top we've got a, a winch, electric winch, bought it from Amazon, eBay, some other site, I don't know. Less than £100, uh, capacity is around about uh, the 100, 100 125 kilogram mark. There is a component you can fit into double reave it, right? So when you double reave, uh, you're, you're doubling the, the, uh, the lift capacity, but obviously halving the, 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 the how, lo how high you can raise and lower the load and the load speed. Uh, so that's just attached to that cross member. Uh, yeah, I, I work really well. Without this, I, I'd be in real trouble. Uh, I probably would have, wouldn't be able to lift the motors onto the bench. So uh, I'd recommend if you get opportunity to do this, have a go. In terms of cost, just under a hundred pound, let's say ninety pound for the winch. Uh, materials, uh, let's suggest about forty pounds, something like that. You obviously have to have something substantial for the load to react into uh, and this bench fabricated from what was quite thick uh, channel line uh, c-channel was uh, is quite heavy right so it's not gonna it's not gonna overturn that if you put it on a lightweight if you attach it to a lightweight uh, bench then what you'll have to do is to put some uh, <coughs> a cross like a tripod arrangement or something like that put a base a much larger base on it just to react those loads into, into the floor so you're not overturning your uh, your bench. Uh, but as I say, for this what this this thing's such a heavy piece of kit, uh, it's absolutely fine. Yeah, I uh, totally recommend you having a go at this, uh, for sure. It's really easy to do. You're probably looking to fabricate, I don't know, uh, half a day, something like that. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, you, 
I'll, I'll just, I should point out though that being an ex-marine engineer, I can weld, uh, and as a appointed uh, lifting person, uh, uh, qualified appointed lifting person, uh, and also having been a lifting technical authority and sat on some of the things, I, I understand about uh, lifting uh, design and, and things like this and capabilities and limitations and stuff like that. Uh, but this is fine, you know, uh, as long as you don't go crazy and. and you know, certainly extend that cross member uh, too too far. This you'll be absolutely fine.